Well, who doesn't love pizza? What if I told you we were going to show you how to make pizza even better? That's in today's Daily Dish. Here's a look at what you need for this recipe. Go gather all your ingredients because it's pizza, everyone. And pizza is always a hit in our house, Matt. I hear you're a fan as well. Pizza is my, if I had a death row meal and one thing that I could <laughs> eat every day or the last meal of my life, it would be pizza. I am, I'm obsessed with all different formats of pizza. Yeah, right with you uh, for my birthday meal, it's pizza, salad, wine. I'm a basic girl. I like good ingredients. I like a good pizza. So what you're going to be making is deep fried cheese, pepperoni, bacon, pizza balls, and a quick marinara right? sauce. So, oh, sounds so good. Where do we get started? We're, we're going through a crazy time, but again, let's have fun with our food. We all love pizza, but let's make these at home. You know, from any grocery store, you essentially you can get some uh, pizza dough ready to go. Again, with pizza dough, you want to leave it out a couple hours before you start working it. So you mentioned around my quick and easy marinara sauce. Well, I'm going to do that first. So the first step is putting in our olive oil. So we've got two tablespoons of olive oil and garlic, and that's just a great base to any kind of sauce. Now, again, you could use fresh tomatoes. Uh, I'm using crushed tomatoes in this case. So everybody goes in the pool. One bay leaf. I never know why they say just one bay leaf. <laughs> Tracy, right? What, they always call for just one bay leaf. And that's Honestly. the annoying that's the annoying bay leaf that's going to end up in your teeth if you don't fish through it and take it out, right? You know, if you want to put in two bay leaves, Tracy and I <laughs> give you full permission. Two bay leaves. Break all the rules. This is MDP's kitchen here, Daily Dish. So next, we want to do a tablespoon of oregano and a pinch of uh, black pepper and salt. I am just gonna sort of bring that together. We wanna cover that, and you bring up a really good point, Trace, is that make sure to remove that bay leaf when that's fully done. But I just want that to sort of saute down. That's gonna cook down for about 50 minutes or so. You could cover it, you don't have to. So let's move on. So now we've got our pizza dough. I'm gonna just break off a good little piece here, and essentially you want maybe you know, a little bit bigger than a golf ball, maybe double the size of a golf ball. You could, on a clean work surface, we're just going to flour out our pan or our board here. And you could, if the dough's been out long enough, you can let, you know, gravity help you. So as you can see, I'm just working down and it's stretching out on its own. I am not going to throw this little pizza slice around because we're going to just, it's going to stick to my roof of my condo here and <laughs> you're going to probably laugh all at me. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is we just, do you make pizza at home? Do you make homemade pizza at home, Trace? Bit rarely. We used to all the time, and now it's like we're trying to support every single business in our hood right now, so there's a good Amazing. incentive to uh, order out. Yeah, so you're right. Order pizza that are professionals. You know, if our good, you know, viewers are watching this at home and you want to have fun with this one, it's an easy one. So stretch the dough out. And again, let these sort of, you can have your pizza dough little pockets in these balls set out ahead of time. So next we want to take a mixing bowl, and this is a really simple recipe. One cup of grated mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, pardon me. We've got bacon, so bacon crumble. You can use pancetta. I've got some beautiful bacon that is going in there. It's double smoked bacon. Pepperoni, and that's a half a cup of pepperoni. Followed up by, again, back to our trusty oregano. A great Italian spice. We just want to sort of bring that together. And what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of pizza sauce and I'm going to start spooning this. So we've got, again, our beautiful little ball here. And we take a tablespoon of pizza sauce right in the middle. And from that point, I want to do pepperoni. I want to do some of that cheese mixture. And I want to start, I want to make sure we have some bacon in there and continue to keep doing these. And what we want to do is fold towards the middle we're creating a little pocket, just like a little pocket, a little deep fried, beautiful pizza ball. I can twist it, I can seal it, and we can keep moving from there. So, Trace, step one down. There we go. We're nice. moving on to the next part. As you can see, our sauce is just ripping and rolling over here. So we can turn that down, and that is going to be a beautiful marinara sauce. You know, my good, my good Italian friends are going to say you need to cook that for a long period of time. We're going to do a quick one. So we're now going to drop our pizza ball into our hot oil. This is going to cook probably for, you know, any the good rule of thumb is when it starts to turn golden brown and when it starts to float to the top. So I'm doing a shallow fry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a flip because we've got this just ripping and roaring over here. This is going to be absolute beautiful. So let's get our next step going. So we have our showcase board. We have our fresh marinara. 
butter. We have hot melted butter that we've taken. I want to put that into a mixing bowl, followed by our Parmesan cheese. So again, we're doing this all in live time. This is happening right here. A tablespoon of parsley and garlic powder. So this is going to be a beautiful little roll that we're going to do. So our hot, tasty little number that's going to come out in a second there from that hot oil, we are going to drip and drizzle and get that rocking. So let's do this together. I want to pull this and check this out. Trace, we are going to be absolutely rocking here. That looks if good. you can see that golden brown goodness here, mm -hmm. oh my God. And let's just spoon. You know, you could toss, you could roll, you could do whatever you want. I'm just going to try to coat it as best as humanly possible. Oh my God, that is just sticking. This smells like a pizzeria cafe over here. Oh, if we had smell vision on our TV. Check that out. You know, look at that beautiful, beautiful ball. Let's take a look inside. What does it look like? Let's see it. Oh, it look really at that good. pulled. So good. Thank you for that. Another winner as always.